from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for May the 5th, 2016. In just a moment, we'll be taking a look at the AUD USD, the Australian dollar versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis and setup. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days in the morning analysis videos and also in the live daily trade room. First off, starting here on the USDCHF, we've been studying opportunities to go long and buy this currency pair on dips into support and indications of reversal. A couple of days ago, and I'm going to zoom in here on the daily time frame, a couple of days ago we saw this candlestick where the body was much smaller and the wick was very long at the bottom, calling this a hammer candlestick and looking for opportunities for reversal. So once it gave us that candlestick, we started looking for opportunities to go long and buy inside this green shaded area. And so far, that's been a very profitable opportunity. You can see the trade still going down here. Uh, I've closed m uh, much of the profit on the trade but still going from the 9540 level which is right in the middle of that green shaded area touching into the 9650 level this morning so went ahead and closed uh, some of the profit there on the trade uh, and letting the rest go in case it continues to go in our favor and continues to break higher currently of course this blue shaded area holding is resistance I would never suggest going long and buying into resistance if we're gonna long or buy it again we need to either go down into support first would be this pink shaded area or break above the resistance which is the blue shaded area so continue to follow profit on that uh, trade if you are holding into the US franc similar over here on the a uh, euro dollar the EUR USD looking at the daily time frame let's zoom it in similar to the the US franc except opposite you see the Three days ago, we see this small body, the red candlestick with the longer wick on the top, giving us a clue to potential reversal, giving us an opportunity to go short on the next daily candle and selling it into the pink shaded area. You can see the trade going down there, 1.1500. I actually had a couple of trades on this. I had one at 1515 that got stopped out at break even. I got back into it at 1500, currently sitting about 70 pips of profit, still targeting back down here towards the green shaded area. And you can see the congestion and resistance back here. That becomes our target right at 1410, 1400. So if you're in it, great follow profit. If you're not, probably not the best opportunity to go short now because the green shaded area is really close. Your risk would be too high, your reward too small to go short now. If you're gonna go short, it will likely need to go back up to the pink zone or the next thing we're looking for over the next few days is a breakdown here of the green shaded area. So continue to follow profit if you are still in that trade. Next, moving over to the GBP USD, Great British Pound versus the US dollar. Yesterday, we began looking for opportunities to go short into the 4500, 4515 level. I actually have been in and out of this a couple of times, selling 4500, 4515. Uh, the market goes back up. I see 25, 30, 40 pips of profit. The market went back up, taking me out at break even a couple of times. So if you're still in it, great. Continue to follow profit. If you're not, I think we look for another opportunity on a rally back into the orange shaded area. For three days, in a row now we have had poor data out of the UK the all the data that has been released at 4 30 a.m. Eastern US time over the past few days has been poor not meeting the expectations so continue looking for going short and selling this pair will still be the theme of the day today four hour time frame again you can see uh, here's one opportunity we took to go short and it went back up and took us out at break even here it came up took us in we even saw it go down a little bit from the 45 15 level about 40 pips or so so 45 pips went back up took us out now here we are again coming back up into that area I think again similar situation to yesterday as close as we can get it to the orange shaded area 4500 4515 becomes an opportunity your risk of course is that it turns around and breaks back above the orange zone so we don't want it to do that stop losses would be above there and of course, we're going to target all the way back down to the blue shaded area. Three days in a row, poor data out of the UK. Of course, tomorrow we have to be aware, non-farm payroll, we have jobs numbers out of the US could highly affect this currency pair and all US currency pairs. So you want to pay attention to that tomorrow. But I think for the day today, we're continuing to focus our efforts in the same way we have been for the past couple of days. Selling 4,500, 4,515, the orange shaded area, looking for targets lower for the pound dollar. Next, moving over to the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar. Of course, several days ago, we saw the cut of interest rates.
rates in Australia, causing a significant fall off here for the currency parity AUD USD and a sell off of the Australian dollar. It has moved lower and now challenging the bottom of uh, what is showing here as somewhat of a range highlighted with the blue box, but really challenging the last two supports. Let's zoom it in one time here on the chart on the daily time frame. Look at the blue circles back here. We see support here and support here, and we're challenging that now. That's right around the seven, just underneath 7,500, 7,490 down to 7,470. That's the orange shaded area on the chart. Those are your last two supports. You can see support back here just to the left of that as well. Of course, if it can break there, we'll look for it to go lower, but of course, it hasn't done that yet. It's challenged it a couple of times here on the daily time frame, but no significant breakout. Of course, NFP tomorrow, the, the U.S. jobs numbers come out, and that could, of course, highly affect this pair. But overall, I think with those interest rate changes out of Australia, we still have a bearish bias. Of course, yesterday evening, we had some pretty positive data out of Australia, which, of course, has muted the, the sell-off here for this currency pair. But I think over time, uh, the bear side will take back control for the Australian dollar. Take it down to the four-hour time frame, and you can see the struggle that's been happening over the past several hours here. It's been inside that orange zone. Yesterday, we spoke about needing to break out below it, but being cautious on the data release. Now it comes back up inside the orange shaded area. So, again, I think it's very similar to yesterday. We prefer to look for the breakout below the orange zone to go higher, uh, lower or above it to go higher. I don't think we want to bias to the upside because of those uh, bearish uh, implications with the interest rate change, but I definitely think selling rallies to resistance or breaks of support are the main focus here, and it's just not underneath the support right now. So if it takes a push above 7490, 7500 today, we're likely looking for it back up here towards the pink shaded area, 7440, or sorry, 7540, 75, 70 the pink shaded area or maybe even higher towards the blue trend line but we look for it to go higher if it breaks above here any bearish movement you know if we get some positive u.s news or negative more negative australia uh, uh push then we look for this to go back down underneath the 74 70 level continue to pressure back down towards the 7400 level i do think we have a bearish bias right now but really needing to see the bears come back into play here after taking that little bump higher on today uh, on the earlier australian news that we had so Focused on selling, I needed to get back underneath 74.70. If you're going to go ahead and speculate on the shorts, then of course your stop loss is above today's high, uh, looking for it to stay un within and under the orange zone if you take a short already here on this pair. Remember, on the daily time frame, we have not actually seen a breakout underneath that orange zone. It's challenged it. So far, it's been a false breakout. I don't want to fall prey to a false breakout. I want a real breakout. So until it really actually opens and closes under the orange zone, which won't be until tomorrow, by the way, then we have to be patient. Uh, if you're going to be a higher... Uh higher risk taker or maybe more aggressive trader, then you could look for the shorts now. Uh, if you're going to be more conservative, you wait for the breakout under the orange zone on the daily time frame for the Australian dollar. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.